If it is never a currency, we said you're bienvenue to South Africa tonight. Dieter Iceland, the only born and bred South African in the USA's National Football League, has extended his contract with the Chicago Bears for a fourth year. Uh, Iceland started playing the sport at the age of 19 at a prep school in Connecticut before accepting a scholarship at Yale University. I'm now joined by Dieter from Stellenbosch to talk about the new venture that awaits him in the USA with the Chicago Bears. Good evening and congratulations, Dieter. What does it mean to you to re-sign with the Chicago Bears uh, for the upcoming season? Hi, Arthur. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, it means a whole lot to me, you know, to represent South Africa, represent the country. Um, I'm really fortunate to be in the National Football League, and I'm really just excited for the upcoming season and looking forward to build on my hard work. Dieter, do you see yourself following in the footsteps of Tom Brady? And what are your NFL ambitions? Yes, hopefully. I mean, everybody tries to have the kind of career that a guy like Tom Brady had. So if I can even have half the career that he had, I'd be very, very happy. All right. I mean, coming from South Africa, your natural inclination would be to play rugby. And I understand that you studied at Paul Roos Gymnasium. Um, how did you not get the rugby bug or even continue to pursue track and field, which is one of your additional choices, Dieter? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I went to Paul Roos. I matriculated in 2014, and it's a big uh, rugby powerhouse. But my journey just led to football. I took a chance uh, on myself to play the sport. And uh, it's worked out really good for me so far, and I'm looking forward to what the future holds. I mean, away from the football pitch, your academic resume shows how important uh, you take your education. You are passionate about the NFL. Having studied uh, economics and political sciences, would you use these qualifications for the betterment of how the NFL is ran uh, after your playing days? Yeah, I'm really fortunate to have studied at a great university and football allowed me to have that opportunity. So I definitely want to maximize um, my degrees that I've earned and use the best of my ability. I'm not sure how I do that yet, whether it be in the NFL or to come back home and help out, out here. So we'll see what the future holds, but I'm excited for it. For any young South African who is thinking of a career in American football, how would you advise them uh, to join or rather participate in the sport? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really hard sport to get into from over here in South Africa, but to anybody who has the dream to go out there and pursue it, I say go do it. Um, nobody believed in me when I made a decision to go over. Nobody even believed that I would go play college football, but I went even beyond that and just finished my third year in the NFL and just re-signed for a fourth. So the sky's the limit, and you really can do anything through hard work and perseverance. Were there any challenges and issues that you faced having studied and participated as well as an NFL player? Yeah, there's lots of challenges. You know, people see the games on Sundays and they think it's a glamorous life and all that, but there's a ton of studying and lots of preparation that goes into preparing for the games many months before the season even starts. So uh, it's a cutthroat league and you just try to uh, do the best you can year in and year out. So there's lots of challenges, but... I relish the sport and I love playing football. I mean, Dito, when you look at the model used to make the NFL the successful product that it is today, what can South African sports learn from them to become greater as well in their own regard? Yeah, so American football, specifically the NFL, is doing a lot of things to try and expand beyond America. Uh, they're playing a lot more international games in London and even in Germany last year. And I think that a lot of sports, especially uh, rugby and soccer and all that, they can learn from the model that the NFL has implemented in terms of the success that it's achieved. It's built on its traditions and made it a national pastime in the United States and made it a real religion. So I think that all sports leagues across the world can look up to the NFL as the model. Um, there are some people who obviously have their own take on contact sports. Uh, having said that, concussion rules in rugby and NFL are consistently being revisited in efforts to lower the risk of a head injury and brain damage. What is your stance on what the governing bodies are doing to solve these critical issues? 
Yeah, so the NFL has taken a lot of precautions in terms of uh, protecting players. We have uh, cut of the edge technology in terms of equipment and rules protecting players in specific positions. So I'm really fortunate that they're doing that. And uh, yeah, I feel safe as a football player. Obviously, there are precautions one needs to take, but we're definitely in a lot better spot and we'll be down the road. All right, Dieter, we've uh, run out of time. Your closing words to your South African fan base as they anticipate the NFL season in September, of course, when you run out in the colors of the Chicago Bears. Yeah, I just hope there's a lot of Bear fans in Chicago. And there's a lot of Bear fans in Chicago, and hopefully there can be a lot more in South Africa. And I look forward to everybody following the upcoming season, and hopefully we can go all the way to a Super Bowl. Uh, Dieter Iceland, uh, the only South African born and bred NFL player. Thank you very much for your time. Of course, he uh, joins the Chicago Bears in September when the NFL season will get underway.